Jill is a one-of-a-kind research institution. Working at Jill is fantastic. There's a lot of really awesome, groundbreaking scientific research. At Jilla, I can do laser science, AMO science, x-ray science, material science, imaging science, and it's completely accepted. It's important to have good researchers, but it's also important to have an environment that you feel comfortable in, and you actually want to be there. And I think this is something for me that was really special about Jilla. We're training the next generation, not just of uh, academic scientists, but of uh, sort of technological leaders. And um, I, I like to sort of tell my students, my goal is that when you come out of my lab, you should be just sort of an all around general technological badass. So I work um, in Juni's lab and I specifically work on the uh, infrared frequency comb development. I'm a graduate student working with Margaret Renan and Henry Captain, and we work on developing novel light sources and novel um, sort of pushing the frontiers of imaging technology using these light sources. My project is on um, the effects of high electric fields on quantum dot behavior. Right now we're building up a new experiment to manipulate strontium atoms with optical tweezers. So this experiment will combine some of the techniques developed in metrology, quantum gas microscopes, and optical tweezers uh, to realize a powerful new kind of platform. So many of the growth areas in physics are at the boundaries of physics, where physics meets chemistry, where it meets biology, where it meets astrophysics, various technological or materials needs. And Jilla has always, because of its collaborative and multidisciplinary nature, has always been about that. When I first started here, when you join, you're given two keys, one for all the offices on, in the department and one for all the labs in the department. So you can go kind of anywhere. The whole place functions more like a giant research group than it does like a department. We have all sorts of techniques that are shared between all the groups, so we can use atomic force microscopy, um, scanning electron microscopes. We have this fantastic uh, clean room where we can do fabrication and, and characterization. There's an electronics shop, there's a machine shop that's sort of for anything from machining small parts to building large instruments, and you can talk to those people about um, just kind of any level of problem. Because of this amazing support, we were able to attempt crazy experiments that we couldn't do anywhere else in the world. One of the like, nice things of the Jira is also the locations. It's surrounded by nice mountains. So usually we had some trouble in the lab. We want to do something else. And we can just go to the mountains and feel refreshed and come back here and we can focus on the research again. It's sort of a work hard, play hard place, um, and that really pays off in terms of the science that comes out of Jilla. Here at Jilla, we're host to uh, two large uh, research centers. One is the Physics Frontier Center from the National Science Foundation. The other also from NSF is Strobe, and they're very much enriched the life here because they are sort of catalysts for people to interact with one another. Strobe has a goal at 10 years of producing the next technology in microscopy, producing the next tools that allows us to see the very small and the very fast. And Strobe is very special because the idea of Strobe is a little bit like the idea of Jilla. It's like, let's take all these different people that are working with very different technologies, developing microscopes with electrons, microscopes with X-rays or synchrotrons, microscopes with X-rays here, microscopes with you know, infrared light, working towards the same goal from different perspectives, from departments of computer science, chemistry, biology, physics. And from those kind of like synergies, we're hoping that like we'll know what the next step is. But that's, I guess, what research is about, right? The key word in the Physics Frontier Center is frontier. We're looking to solve problems largely in quantum mechanics, largely in the interactions between systems which are just complicated enough to be, to be tractable, but uh, no longer as simple as the problems we used to find challenging 15 years ago. PISEC is one of the uh, big Physics Frontier Center outreach programs that Jilla does. We go to some middle schools after school once a week uh, and help them run their science club, uh, but it's sort of, it's more about mentoring the students and getting them excited about STEM fields from a young age and just being positive role models overall. 
the fact that there are a lot of different things happening at Jilla gives you a really good exposure to the different fronts of the field, sort of. And this gives you a lot of ideas about um, what you can do in the future and also how you can um, combine ideas maybe from different, a little bit different fields, but not quite, to maybe then um, do something new. Jilla gives you a lot of opportunities to uh, do whatever you want within science or out of science when you leave. It's really hard to find a better place in the world.